Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today, I'm cooking one of my most favorite foods, and it's donuts, but in the air fryer. So I'm Kristen Hills, and if you're new to the channel, I love sharing simple, easy recipes to make cooking just a little bit easier. Now, when I was a teenager, I used to work at a donut shop, and I do have to say, I've kind of become picky about my donuts. I know a good donut from a not so good donut. So we're gonna try out these air fryer donuts just to see how they go. I'm excited, let's jump into the recipe. All right, so first I'm gonna add two and a fourth teaspoon of active dry yeast. Then I'm gonna add half a cup of warm water and a fourth cup of warm milk. I mix mine together just to make it easier for me. And we'll just dump it right in. Okay, then you're gonna take one tablespoon of sugar and you're gonna just add it in. Then we're just gonna mix it just a little bit. And then we're gonna set our timer for five minutes and just let it sit. All right, so I'm gonna take my mixture that's been sitting there for about five minutes and just dump it into my stand mixer. Now, if you don't have a stand mixer, that's okay. You can use a bowl and a whisk or a spoon if you want. Then I'm gonna take a fourth cup of butter and we're just going to melt this in the microwave. And then just go ahead and pour that in. I'm gonna use the bowl that I've used before, so I need an egg yolk. So I'm gonna get rid of all the white and just keep the yolk. All right, then we'll dump this in. And then just add a normal egg. Then we have a teaspoon of vanilla. You guys know me, I'm just gonna eyeball that. Then a third cup of sugar, and then two and a half cups of flour. And then about a half teaspoon or so of salt. Okay, so we're just gonna put this lid on. There we go. This little one too, okay. And we're just gonna go on low until all the flour is incorporated. So we're just going to a one right now, my gosh. Okay, once the flour is pretty much all incorporated, we're gonna go ahead and mix this on a little bit higher level for about five minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take this off. Now we're just gonna test it. If it's too sticky, we're gonna add a little bit more flour. Ah, it's a little sticky. So we're gonna add, I don't know, like one tablespoon at a time just to see how it goes and see if we can get it not so sticky. Here's our first tablespoon. I actually might add one more too, just cause it's pretty sticky. Okay, then we'll just turn it on and mix it around a bit. Okay, so it's still supposed to be a little bit sticky. I feel like this is a, a good enough texture for us. So we'll just take it off this and then we're gonna put it into a bowl and cover it. I got all my dough. I'm just gonna carefully get it off my fingers. Now this bowl is sprayed with cooking spray so it won't stick. We're just gonna kind of even it out a little bit and then we're gonna cover it with a towel and let it sit here for about an hour. So I'm just gonna flour a surface and then just pour on my dough. And it doubled, so it's working, it's working. Okay, so you're just gonna roll it out till it's about half an inch thick. Now it's time to make the donuts. Now I don't have a special donut press, but I have a cup and it will work, so we're just gonna improvise. Putting my cup through. Yes, it worked. Okay, then I have this little dude that will just put a hole through the center, which will make our donut perfect. Woohoo! So now you can either grease your pan or put down some parchment paper. I did parchment paper. We'll just put down my donut. So now we are just going to cover them lightly and then let them rise for about 20 more minutes. Okay, they should be done here. Ready to air fry. I'm excited. You're gonna preheat the air fryer to 345. And when you're ready, let's put in our donuts. All right, so I'm gonna spray the bottom with my olive oil and then put down the donuts. Now you just wanna make sure they're not touching each other. They might be a little deformed, but you know what? It's the taste that counts. That's what we're looking for. All right, I have four in. We're gonna cook them for just four minutes. They're all done, let's, woo Look at that, those turned out good. Okay, we're gonna let them cool and then it's time for the frosting. Okay, so the secret is you wanna do it while they're hot. So these are actually really toasty still and we're going to dip them into our thing. Now, if you have a cooling rack, that would be a perfect time to pull it out and use it. You guys, I don't have one, so I'm just gonna do it on some wax paper. Here we go, one, two, three, whoop. It will still work just fine. All right guys, time for the taste test. I have Maylee here with me. Are you ready to taste it? Bring it on over. Can you see these? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll take the first one. You can take the next one. All right. We're doing it. 
You get a stars out of five, so just so you know. All right, are you ready? Okay, taste test. First, cheers. Cheers. You missed. Cheers. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> What do you think? Five? Five out of five? All right, for a baked donut, it's pretty good. I love deep fried donuts, but baked donut, we're trying a little healthier. It's not bad, it kind of tastes like a delicious roll that's covered in sugar, so I would I would make this again. You like it? Mm-hmm. She likes it. All right, guys, if you want more air fryer recipes, I have plenty, so you can find 10 of my favorite air fryer recipes right up there. Hey guys, we'll see you next time.